So surprisingly, Ed was not a child prodigy in any shape or form. He played the cello, didn't like it. He sang in the choir at, uh, in Framlingham, didn't enjoy that. But one day he was watching television and he was mightily impressed with Eric Clapton performing Layla. I knew a lot of the promoters at the open mic nights. I knew a lot of the singer-songwriters from the open mic nights. There was a lot of fans that would come to gig after gig. One of my best friends now, Daryl, was this American fan who just just came to a lot of my gigs. And one day I was like, can I crash? And he was like, sure. Like, you're not going to say to a 17-year-old kid, no, you can't have a place to stay. So um, I was very lucky in the sense of people uh, giving me sofas and spare rooms every now and then. I was selling CDs at this point and I had I'd literally just kept cash in my bag. It was just CDs and cash from, from gigs. So I counted the cash, I had enough money to buy a ticket. I bought a ticket, I made my mum cry because it was the first time I'd left the country and uh, on my own. And I remember leaving and flying to Los Angeles, getting there, flying, going straight to Inglewood and playing on stage and obviously being a British kid with a small acoustic guitar who raps in Inglewood at a poetry night. You know, obviously a lot of people can be like quite bored and irritated waiting on a, in a busy station. Really hit everyone, um, otherwise I'd be a very lucky man. It should hit some people today, hopefully. 